music. From True True Do Diablo or whatever. I know I can't pronounce that right. Oh, La True Do Diablo. They always got some uh, half decent labels here. Kind of, uh, they got their own unique bottle here. So this is an IPA, sort of. La Morger. I'm not sure what that means either. I'm, I'm totally useless on reading this label. So compulsive strong ale is what they call it, a 6.5% alcohol by volume. And this is um, inspired by American IPA. So let's see exactly what they got here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that head kind of came out of nowhere there. I wasn't expecting that, honest. As I was going well, going well. Oh, foam. Look at that. <laughs> it's over half that glass is foam. Okay, nice kind of a orangey, slight copper, yellowy color there. A little bit of a light yellowy creaminess to the head there. Very nice looking head. Oh, yeah. Oh, that smells great. Wow. Wow, the, uh, some of the aromas coming out of these hops are kind of new to me. This is this is smelling awesome. Typical fruitiness, kind of light citrusy, kind of a sweet resiny oiliness, typical to IPAs. But this one's just really great, almost like um, pear or something, peachy pear. Oh wow. Great picture, perfect like mouthfeel dryness. A little bit, little slight bit of like club soda ness or something like, you know, or we'll just say it's an extra light body. So this has some cleanness to it there, and there's this like kind of just a clean bitterness to the hops in the finish, which kind of like um, you're getting that nice sweet resininess in the middle, but not so much in the end, so it kind of cleans up. So, I'm not exactly sure what strain of yeast they have in here, so let's... Um, patience is bitter, but bears sweet fruit. Turkish proverb. Okay, so... Inspired by the American IPA, Lay Measure. Has a pleasant caramel nose with notes of exotic fruit and pine resin. The palate is balanced between sweet malt and fruity resinous hops, resulting in a bitter, satisfying finish. Water malt with barley and hops. So, yeah, you might be getting some more tropical type things. Uh, some, of, some of those tropical fruits are quite subtle, like um, they're kind of related to the kiwis, like uh, different ones are, are a little more flavorful than others. Like even dragon fruit and that stuff. It doesn't have like a whole ton of flavor necessarily. Great aroma, it, but it, it is like, there is kind of a, a crazy bitterness in the finish to this hop, so it's kind of like, it's a plain straight bitterness, but kind of, Slightly quirky. It's it's kind of interesting. Real typical through the middle though, kind of with the hops, but at the start, it's kind of got like a thinner, um, thinner bodied mouthfeel to it and stuff. Um, so it's like extra light at uh, six and a half percent alcohol by volume. So it's like an IPA but just lighter bodied and stuff. 
<clears throat> I do believe this is bottle conditioned as well. I'll investigate a little bit further. Yeah, it's not just me. I'm, I'm pouring this really carefully, and it's just generating a lot of, of head. <clears throat> so that might be another reason is the bottle conditionedness of it. But, like, great head to the beer. I mean, it's just... Just insane. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can see a lot of sediment here. And I can't, I'm not, I'm imagining that most of that is yeast. But it almost looks like there's chunks of hops and stuff in it. It's uh, quite, pretty cool. Well, very refreshing. I'm going to, I'm going to nominate this as a summertime, springtime beer. And I had it tonight because I wanted a, a beer that's a little bit lighter, like a pale, something more pale and uh, not as rich. I've been drinking a lot of my homebrew that's like 130 IBU and, and like loaded with crystal malt and who knows where the ABV is on it? Somewhere at least seven or about between seven and eleven. Somewhere, <laughs> really hard to tell with that much shit in it. And I just I've been drinking lots of those, and I need something light. So this is definitely doing the trick. Wow. Sorry, I'm not really uh, being all that useful. You need to try this beer. It's definitely if you want like a lighter IPA, and you're in Canada or you have access to this. If you got a good deal on this, I think it was a pretty good deal. It wasn't, uh, it was definitely competitive. I do like, a, a, like, everything I've tried from these guys really has been pretty good, so. As for, like, you want to call it an IPA? Oh, there's such a nice peachiness in there. Wow. It's not my ideal IPA, like, it's a little bit crazy bitter like almost like pilsner hot bitter or something in it but with like a with a, fr a real fruity hop in the middle and like look at look at the head on this like this is just whack like, look at that serious that's like that's like the himalayas right there crazy so th this definitely a, a unique beer but it's not like my ideal normal drinking IPA that I would want to drink all the time, but it's definitely a nice treat. A couple of these in the, throughout the spring and the summer would definitely be a worthwhile endeavor if you want to pick a couple of these up. Definitely be a nice refreshing treat. Um, yeah, La Mors Air or whatever. I, I recommend picking this up. As for beer, what it's supposed to be is it's doing the job uh, quite nicely. Nothing wrong with it. I can't see why I can't give it a 9 out of 11. Yeah! <sighs> totally awesome beer, really. I mean, not not 100% my cup of tea all the time, but it's nice to have variety out there. And these guys, you know... And, and a lot of their beers are just a little bit off to the side, like a little bit uh, a little bit in left field, some of them, like that I've tried. Like the Schwinnigan Handshake, for sure. It was like a pink Belgian ale or some shit. It was really like a peachy, pinky color. It, it was awesome. So that, that, that one was... Uh, a really unique beer i'd have to say as far as i'm concerned in my experience i've never had a beer like the schwinnigan handshake since so yeah nine out of eleven no problem really enjoying this uh, uh definitely a good job anyway i'm just milking that is way longer than i should have so i'm doing some hop reviews so i did amarillo in. did fuggles did a whole bunch of other hops too from a while like a month or two ago did the topaz the australian hop so i got a sample here left of saz so i'll be doing that one next so i will be reviewing saz in a couple minutes here Bizzica! hop it up yeah, yeah! 